Hi, thanks for joining me today. So today I thought we would do a quick get ready with me using a few products that are new to me that were recommended by some of my viewers. So um, right now all I have on is skincare and sunscreen. So I'm gonna get started with the Syrah Perfectionist Primer. And I just take one pump and I rub it in my hands and I start here and then kind of just spread it out. Alright, so um, for those of you who are new to my channel, you can see I do have very um, sensitive skin, so pretty much any time I touch it, it gets red. Um, but that'll calm down in a minute. And then the primer, I should have shown you guys a before shot, but you know, it really does blur the pores really well. So that's what I really like about it. And it dries down to more of like a smooth, almost a powdery feel, but not quite powdery. Um, so I've been enjoying that a lot. For foundation today, I think I'm just gonna use the Givenchy um, Tenkitior City Balm. So I use the shade N104, and I'm just gonna apply this And I'm using the um, Coyoto Fupa 03 brush. And this brush has a lot of um, movement with the bristles. It's very soft. Uh, it's a synthetic one. Um, it spreads the product really well and kind of gives you like a nice look to the finish. It's not necessarily the best brush for all foundations. Um, for some, I prefer a stiffer brush, but when I'm going for like a light look like this, it is probably my favorite uh, foundation brush. So I like to use this one um, a lot, actually. With I prefer lighter coverage things, so it's probably my most used foundation brush also. And you can see I'm having like some breakouts and so forth, so I've got some extra like redness in there, and I don't know, maybe I'll dab some concealer on it, but honestly, it's not that big of a concern right now, so. All right, so that was just a light coat. You can see how much I have left from one pump. So, you know, it's really more of a, um, maybe half a pump. For under the eyes today, I'm going to do um, what is my current favorite mix. This is the Sicily Phytosterns Eclat, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand here. And then I'm going to take a swatch of the Pat McGrath. This is the concealer in L1. I'm just gonna put some of that right there next to it. I'm gonna mix these and tap it on. So I mix it with my middle finger and tap just a little bit on here, but then I use my ring, ring finger to actually tap it on and smooth it out. Um, and then you can really build this coverage up and use several layers. I've used as many as four layers before without any issues. And I find this spreads, you know, it's, you get a lot of coverage from a little bit of product. So I pretty much only apply it here and then spread it out because you really just want a very light layer with this product, in my opinion. All right. So I think that's good. I'm going to wash my hands and be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna set my powder a little bit. I'm going to use the Pat McGrath um, powder in light under my eyes and I'm just getting a tiny bit and it's more, I'm using more of a patting motion. So you can see I just got a little bit here on the brush. And this is the Kevin O'Quan contour brush, but it's what I've been using under my eyes recently. Uh, well, one of them. <laughs> so there's that. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Givenchy Poudre Premier. This is the Universal Nude, which is essentially white. But it's a, let me show you. 
I'm not even sure if you can really tell, but it's got like the slightest rosy tint to it. So it's if you look at it at a quick glance, you would think it's white, just pure white. And then if you look a little bit closer, you'll see that there is a little bit of rosiness to it. So I'm just taking, you know, what's in the lid, which really isn't too much. And this is the um, Lunar New Year brush from the Beautylish and Chikahodu collab. Okay, and you can see I really don't have much powder on my brush. And that's it. So we're just gonna do a light set. Okay, and I want to go ahead and start off with blush. We're going to use what is one of my current favorites. This is the Chanel Rose Pétillant from the LeBlanc collection. And I'm going to use the Sonia G Classic Cheek. I actually used it in this color yesterday, so I'm just going to use the same brush. I just really love this color because I think it really gives like this nice blush to your cheeks and it's, I don't know, it's like, uh, it has, it's a swirl. So you can see you've got like kind of like reddish, peachy, pinky swirl all in there. And depending on what else you're wearing, it kind of gives a different look to the blush. So it's definitely one of my favorite blushes and um, yeah, I love Chanel blushes and I have a few of them, not as many as I'd like, <laughs> but, um, this is, might be my, my favorite of the Chanel blushes at the moment. So, all right. Um, I think for finishing powder today, we are going to go with the Kogan Doe, um, brightening moisture powder. And this was actually recommended to me by a couple viewers as well. So, um, I have used this one already. I'm going to go in with the same brush I used for setting powder and just kind of swirl a little bit on. And I don't know if you can really see it, but I can definitely see that there's like this really beautiful sheen that you get from this. And if I use my, um, my brush is actually, I just washed it, so it's still drying, but the Sonia G Face One, which is like a buffing brush, more of a head like this. If you use that to buff it in, you can really get an even more impactful sheen. And, you know, it's just, this is a really beautiful product. I really, really like it. So thank you to everybody who recommended that. And um, what I wanted to try was this La Mer highlighter. So... This is the Glow Highlighter, um, and it's a dual highlighter. So there's one side that I believe is cream and one side that's powder and has a little plastic piece to switch. Um, I'm gonna open this up and then we are gonna play with this. Okay, so for those of you who are interested, here are the ingredients. Long list. <laughs> um, and here is the product. So you've got, you know, kind of like the, is that um so you can see the actual picture that's on here is set down below you've got like a little bit of the clear like lucite product on top of that and then this lifts up and this fell off but um here is the plastic little flip so you've got this side here is cream and this side is powder and you can kind of you know move it back and forth so you don't um you know kind of mix the two together all right, and then let's see, the back is 0.17 ounces and made in Canada. All right, so here's the back. And you know, it's got a nice heft to it. So this part down here is plastic. This um, lid with the mirror is rather heavy. So it's definitely got some, I think some metallic properties in it. Though I can't tell what, this still feels kind of like that 
um, plasticky type. So I don't know, but the mirror is definitely in there and um, feels weighty. So for the highlight, let's go ahead and use, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, the Refer 04 brush, which has a little bit of an angle here. And I'm gonna just kinda dab it in lightly. Let's see, I'm not sure if I'm getting it up or not, so we'll, we'll see. That's just a tiny bit. I think we can pick up a little more product here. Okay, so it's just going a little bit harder. That is a very pretty sheen. And that is just a light layer. So I think we could really build that up more. But I think I'm keeping my makeup pretty light today. So I think we'll keep it on the lighter side. But that is beautiful. I would wear it just as cream side. Um, but let's go ahead and test out the powder side as well. So I'm actually going to switch brushes for this. I'm using the Refer 19 for this side. And let's see, picks up really well. Plenty here. We're gonna go on top of that cream. Wow, that is very intense. So it, it's kind of got like this peachy look. Um, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of a more intense version of the Chanel Metal Peach Highlighter. Let me pull that out. All right, so here's the Metal Peach. Here's the La Mer. Let me swatch these. Metal Peach and La Mer. So the La Mer is this is this one it's definitely going to be peachier so if we look here la mer metal peach so the la mer one is definitely going to be brighter and i don't know it's a little bit more um like the metallic seems a little bit smoother this seems more foiled whereas this seems um you know i don't know if you can tell like this one it kind of looks like You've got like maybe some other colors kind of mixed in there. Not other colors per se, but like other maybe textures. Like, And this looks really more monochromatic, but very shiny. Shiny. <laughs> so it, it looks smoother. So um, yeah, that's really pretty. All right. So that's the, the Metal Peach and the La Mer. And while I'm swatching, might as well swatch the cream side as well. So the cream, you can't really see too much on my finger here. I'll put that here. All right, so the cream is just kind of like a really light feeling. Um, it's got a really kind of slippery texture to it. And it's mostly, it's, it's very light. Um, but you can see it's got a little bit of that icy shimmer to it. So it's kind of like you're mixing silver and gold in a way, um, but very pretty. I think you could use either of these alone. And then I think layered gives it a really amped up look. And I think this color combination of these together is going to be great for spring and summer. <laughs> um, I really like this. So thank you so much for the recommendation for those of you who recommended this. And then let's go ahead and do eyes today. So I think for today, I decided to pull out um, something more neutral. This is the Tom Ford Make Mirage uh, palette. And I haven't used this in a while. So I figured we'll go ahead and use this. I'm going to start off with, actually, let's go in with this. This is the Isom S33. And I'm gonna go into this shade here and just kind of swirl my brush in it and go into the crease. So I'm not using any primer today because I kind of just feel like, um, you know, the primer kind of like amps it up a little more and I'm looking for just kind of a really soft look and with the weather so far, I'm not getting 
to the point where I really need to use a primer for longevity of the eyeshadow. So there's that. And then let's go ahead and use, this is the Builder 2 brush from Sonya G. And I am gonna go into this brown shade down here. And I'm gonna start from, so I'm tapping it off. I'm gonna start from the outer corner and kind of go in. Wow, I just keep seeing this highlight out of the corner of my eye and it is really beautiful. All right, so I feel like that, you can see like how patchy it looks there. I'm not done though. We're gonna go ahead and I'm going to take another brush. This is the Sonya G Worker Pro and I'm gonna go into this cream shade mixed with this shade here. So I'm gonna kind of go back and forth and mix the two and put that on the inner portion. And then I'm gonna blend the center area in a minute. All right, same brush, just this tan that I used in the crease, going in the middle here, gonna kind of tap that. Okay, and now I'm just wiping any excess off of that brush. I keep a microfiber cloth on my lap. So I'm just gonna kind of clean that off and then I'm just kind of blending here. I feel like it still looks a little patchy, so I'm gonna go back in with the darker shade, still using the Worker Pro, and just kinda go in with that again. And I'm just gonna kinda spread the excess over the rest of the lid, so it kinda smooths in a little bit more. Oh, I just feel like that looks really kind of patchy there. Maybe I should have used a primer. Probably have eliminated that. All right. So anyway, we'll go back in with this S33 and kind of blend here. I know sometimes you just have those days where eyeshadow looks or makeup in general just doesn't really come out the way that you planned. No, I really, I'm not, not liking that. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to grab a different eyeshadow palette, actually, and kind of go over that a little bit. I think maybe, maybe I'll just take this Tom Ford. This is one of the, this is the Fleur Neige from the Holiday Collection. I'm going to try just adding um a little bit of this on top i think i'm going to use both layers so i'm going to go back in with the worker pro just a little bit of the cream on the bottom here and just kind of dab this on the lid just have a little bit of a base here so you can tell i'm not really adding much the color is not really changing too much but i am going to add the top layer and I need, I like how this applies, how the, the, the powder layer applies with the cream below it. All right, let's use that. All right, and then, so if you're not familiar with these duos, you've got a cream base on the bottom and then a top layer on the top that is powder. And for this, I'm taking, this is the Refer 01. And I'm just gonna go in here and add this on. This is really like a sparkle topper. 
which I wasn't planning on going for sparkle in the eyes, but I really wasn't happy with the Make Mirage look. I think I should have used a primer for that. It just was coming out too patchy. I have to say the new formula for these more recent quads, I haven't been as happy with. I prefer the older quads still. So there we go. Um, that's good enough for her eyes today, I think. And then I'm just going to go back with this S33 and just kind of blend here a little bit. Okay, so we've got eyes, cheeks, and then I still have brows and I think eyeliner today. So I think for eyeliner, I'm going to go in with the Linda Hallberg. This is the Calf Flash, and it's just like a, a nice brown. I'm going to just do a light liner with this. And this is one of the few pencils and crayons I can kind of get closer to my waterline with without having um, irritation. So I'm just going to go a little bit there and then I'm going to take, this is the Smudger One brush from Sonia G. I'm just going to kind of smudge this one out a little at the edges. And I can do my waterline with these ones, but I'm not going to today. Use a little more here. All right. And I do want to go in with the inner corner a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the Zhao Flash, which is kind of like a really pale gold. And I'm just going to add a little bit here to the inner corner and kind of extend that down and up. And I'm going to use that smudger brush I just used and kind of just kind of spread that a little bit. You have to work quickly because these dry down and don't budge. Um, they probably have the best non non budging non smudging capability of any crayons or pencils I've used. Like they really don't move until you're ready to take them off. And again, they actually come off really well with. Um, well, I use the Sensa Bio from is it Bio Bioderm Bioderma Sensa Bio um, Micellar Water, and you know it comes off easily with that. All right, so I think that's good for the eye look. I'm gonna just curl and put on a little mascara. And I always do three pumps along the lash line, or two pumps in three positions along the lash line. This is a Syrah Releve eyelash curler. And I'm using a sample of the Lancome Monsieur Big mascaras. And I really hate when eyelashes um, stick together for me. It's just not a look that I like. Um, so I always kind of separate mine with this Tweezerman eyelash comb. And you have to be really careful with this because it is a metal comb. So poking yourself in the eye would definitely hurt. And for brow, brows, I'm gonna keep it light. I'm gonna go in with the Surratt Expressionist Eyebrow Pencil. This is the shade Blonde. Just gonna draw in a little bit. And then the other side of the pencil has a spoolie 
I just like to kind of run that through. All right, so the other new item that I have from that was recommended by viewers are the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Glosses. And I purchased two shades. I have Spring Bliss and In the Buff. So I'm gonna swatch both of these and then we'll decide which one to wear today. And this one here is Spring Bliss. I'm gonna swatch it on my right hand. All right, so it's got a doe foot applicator and here is Spring Bliss. Ooh, that's really pretty. I, I like this color. Um, so you can see it's got some translucence to it. There's no shimmer in this shade. And here is the container. So it says, I'm not sure what it's supposed to say. Ray, forwards and backwards maybe? R-A-Y-A-R, are ya? I don't know. Um, let's see what the other one says. This one doesn't have anything on, on the top, so I'm not really sure why this is labeled up there. It was obviously a new thing. Hmm. Well, interesting. Um, so this one is in the buff. And there we go. There was another shade I really wanted to get and it just kept going out of stock. I actually had it in my cart, but they canceled it from my order. So I think today we're going with Spring Bliss. So it does have a light scent. It's uh, a little bit, oops, a little bit fruity. Uh, I can't really tell what it is exactly, but it's pleasant. Um, it's not like overly scented. I can't smell it now, um, but texture wise, it's very smooth. I do really like the texture of this gloss and um you know it's not sticky which i enjoy to see how long it lasts and wears and so forth but i'll leave a comment of that in the description box so overall i'm very pleased um so thank you guys all for your recommendations this was really fun so i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did <laughs> um and yeah i guess that's it for today so if you like the video please give me a thumbs up Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in my next video. So take care, stay safe and healthy, and I will see you soon. Thanks.